Previously on our exploration of spiritual money, we discussed and explored the wealth archetypes. These six unique archetypes that generally speaking, describe the most common money themes that people face in our modern world. The idea of moving to a resource-based economy and transitioning into a new way of global wealth is one that we're moving to, both as a species and even inside of the series. But in order to get there, we have to evolve our understanding of wealth and money, which takes each of us discovering what it means to be able to create wealth in all of the ways that wealth can show up in our lives. In my own spiritual wealth journey, learning from many books and some amazing mentors, I have found that creating money actually boils down to one simple thing. Are you ready? Here it is. Wealth is a byproduct of value creation. Let me say this again. Wealth is a byproduct of value creation. In fact, creating value generates so much more than just wealth. Value creates meaningful experiences, deep connections, authentic transformations, and so much more. You can see this in several ways in the world both in how it works and how it's broken in society, stemming from our understanding collectively and individually. We often complain about these rich people ruling the world, and certainly they're people with massive wealth in the world, and they influence society in literally whatever direction they want, and it's not always heart-centered. Now, for just a moment, let's put the lack of heart aside and look at this from another perspective. How did they earn it? For example, in the case of all these super rich oil men, they provide the global human society with a source of energy that's in very high demand. They're creating value for billions of people and are thusly some of the richest people in the world. We know that there are better, cleaner sources of energy and that these people may even fight to suppress those industries, certainly. However, if we're looking purely at how these people got so wealthy, we can still see that they created value. Same with any other massive company, Apple, Microsoft, McDonald's, Walmart, they all grew to being these billion dollar companies and industries by providing some kind of service. Whether it's healthy or not aside, that's how they did it. They provided something that millions or billions of people want to spend their money on. But let's not just focus on these oil tycoons and other massive companies. Is it possible to create value in a healthy, positive way? Well, certainly. How about JK Rowling? who through her passionate writing inspired and influenced generations of people with her incredible storytelling. The results, she almost became a billionaire. Same with Oprah, who used communication, listening to others, and an exploration of the unknown to inspire tremendous wealth, which she still uses today to influence the global conversation in the direction of love, wisdom, and spirituality. We can also look at Vishen Lakhiani, the creator of Mind Valley who supports a massive community in the awakening process, helping people connect deeper with themselves and each other. If we can understand the relationship between value creation and wealth, we can plant the seeds of new industries and establish a new generation of spiritual business, or at least establish for ourselves a method of working and creating resources in the world that is in alignment with our spiritual centers. You can see this big disconnect then when you ask the average person, how do you make more money in life? Most commonly, you'll hear the response, well, you put in overtime, you get more shifts, and you work harder. However, what you'll find is that the results of this mentality are, like the approach, a little diluted. If you're working eight hours a day and getting paid minimum wage and struggling to get by in life, the solution is not working 12 hours a day. That's just a recipe for becoming burnt out, stressed, tired, and maybe even a little neurotic. Think about it. Instead of working harder at a low income job, the key to solving your financial problems is by creating work for yourself in the world that offers greater value to those in need. How can you be in service in a greater capacity? And if you truly want to be in spiritual alignment with yourself, can you do so and also do something that you're passionate about? Now let's explore a practical example here. If you're working the checkout at a grocery store, the amount of value that you're creating is not very much. That job is easily replaceable it doesn't take much training. And so the companies who are hiring checkout people are not going to pay you very much because that's how much it's worth to them. And please understand, if you work at a checkout in a grocery store, this does not mean you are not valuable. Just this particular skill is lower on the value ladder. 
But imagine now a good programmer, an artist or an animator, or a specialized skill that is less common. These are skills that are in high demand and low in supply. Companies will hire quality skilled individuals and pay them very high amounts for producing quality material for their company. In fact, sometimes companies are based around it, like Apple being started from Steve Jobs' garage. Even Spirit Science was started in my parents' basement, built off of nearly 10 years of personal practice animating and learning, which stemmed purely from my own interests and passions. So the question you have to ask yourself is, what value are you adding to society or your community at large? In my wealth journey, perhaps one of the most practical perspectives that I've learned to make this understanding real in how to bring value and create wealth in the world is that it really all does boil down to skills. Now, in the past, I've spoken about Dan Locke. In my experiences of Dan, he's like a fusion between a Taoist monk, a Kung Fu master, and an ancient Chinese military leader. That is, if you were to merge all of those together within a soul and make him a very heart-centered, compassionate businessman. Dan's mission is the elevation of wealth and financial confidence in the world. And he does it by helping people to elevate their minds and supports them in being in service to humanity in all manner of ways. The reason I bring this up is because Dan speaks often on the subject of high income skills. He explains this dichotomy of skills, value and wealth creation and teaches that if we want to generate more resources in our lives for the use of making life better for both ourselves and society at large, we must learn skills that are in high value and doing so provides you with financial confidence. Knowing that you have the skills to generate wealth by offering high value service to others gives you the confidence that even if something was to happen and you lose all your money, you'd have the skills necessary to produce more because you are a valuable person with valuable skills. Everyone is valuable in life, but some skills are more valuable than others based on how easy they are, what they take to learn, how much effort is required to get good at it, and so on. This, in my understanding, is the bridge to the creation of wealth. Can you pair your own inner value with a valuable skill to become an instrument of service for the world? Speaking of value, there's something else that is tremendously important here, even more valuable than our money. And please take this super seriously if you want to shift your financial reality. Your time is far more valuable than money. Time is, in this dimension, a limited resource. And while yes, we are striving to evolve into a species that exists beyond the limits of time and space, we haven't yet crossed that threshold. So we must be mindful that in our existing state, each of us only has a limited amount of time. In life, you really can make as much money as you want. And all that's required is putting in the effort to see that it's done. This is where it becomes a challenge for many people who are working those 10 hours a day at minimum wage. And they feel like they can't escape the wheel, yet their existing job or jobs take so much energy that they are exhausted and thus drain from being able to pursue their passions or learn a new skill. This is incredibly important to know more than ever right now in 2020 with the change of the economic landscape of the world. Now is the time, the opportunity to create massive transformation in our lives and in the world by taking some time to learn new skills and implement them in the world through our work and our intentions to be in service to humanity. So if you are wanting to generate more wealth the first thing you have to look at is how much value are you creating in the world? Is the job that you have now limited in how much value you can supply to others? All it takes is honoring both the masculine and the feminine and striving together to create a new paradigm of social harmony. So wrapping up this whole thing, ultimately, as Sifu Dan Locke would say it, for all of us that have struggled with money, it seems as though what we have is not a money problem, but a skill problem. If we can learn some high income skills, especially one relative to our wealth archetype, we can completely transform our financial lives by creating value in the world in a meaningful way that impacts the lives of all of those who your work touches. This journey of spirituality and money has really been a big part of our lives recently, as we've gone through a leveling up of our own mindset, which ultimately led to the creation of this very series. But still, there's so much more to share here. And so we've been working on something really epic for you. If you're someone who wants to go deeper, transform your relationship with money in a big way and set yourself on the path for really creating anything that you want to in this life, then I'd like to invite you to come and experience our latest Spirit Mysteries workshop, Spiritual Money Mastery. Not too long ago, we sat down on a live workshop with members of Spirit Mysteries for over nine hours in just one sitting. 
and explored very in depth everything that we've learned about shifting one's financial paradigms. We also provide practical spiritual money skills that you can implement today, along with tons of bonuses like guided meditations and more, making it easy for you to pave the way for a new financial paradigm. If you feel the call, click the link below and come and experience spiritual money mastery. With that, thank you so much. And I hope to see you there.